Kevin, we said this would be a difficult fixture and that's the way it turned out to be. What was your reaction to that? Yeah, obviously it was, it was in there, up there for a reason. They've done ever so well and, and haven't lost many games. Um, so always going to be a difficult game and I thought whoever the first goal was always going to be very important. Um, you know, we've had two or three very good chances. They've had one or two as well and it looked like the game was end-to-end -end and quite open at times. And it's just important for someone to take them, one of them chances. How frustrating that you didn't, because there was, as you mentioned, real big opportunities for Blues. Yeah, there was. There was, uh, you know, two or three that, you know, another day, you know, cars when he scored a couple of unbelievable headers, and you're just waiting for it to nestle in the net. Um, but it just went the wrong side of the post, and you know, I thought we started ever so well, and then we just dropped off a little bit, and we were half a yard off second, picking up second balls and getting on top of the game. And if you pick them up, then you're on the front foot, and um, yeah, disappointing then in the second half that go one behind but you know we got ourselves back in the game and we're dominant then for a good period that you need a chance to go in or you know a ball to drop and to, to get it back level because we were we were gambling and throwing people forward and then you're always susceptible to another Did you feel you maybe didn't reach the heights that you have done over this unbeaten run? Yeah probably um, but you know you can't play well every game and, and win you've got to grind results out um, maybe one or two are a little bit off that today um, yeah, and disappointing not to, to get something from it, you know, although, you know, there weren't loads in the game. Um, so the chances we, you, know, you need to take when you're on top. And in that first half, we saw saves from the goalkeeper who's come back into the side, David Martin, a tremendous block when he was tracking back by Nathan Ralph as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Dave made a couple of very good saves. And as you say, Ralphie got back for, but for me, defensively, we were a little bit open at times and too easy to play for. Um, and I think that was the case for, the, for their first goal as well. How did you feel that David Martin did, and indeed uh, Brooklyn Cabongolo coming into the side? Yeah, good. Yeah, no, very well. You know, I thought Brooklyn as well. He grew in stature in the game, and um, you know, you, you can see the attributes he's got and the potential he's got. Um, and Dave as well made a couple of very good saves. For us. The key now is to bounce back. It's not going to be easy though against Chesterfield on the way. No, not at all. But you know, that's that's where we're at. You can see we're, we're obviously short, and you can see we need one or two bodies just to help. And because you know, when you the likes of Cav and Harry Taylor are out. You, they're big losses, um, even though the ones come in done well. But you know, a lot of teams, you know, with the, that's why you need a squad, so that you can cope with the injuries and suspensions. And potentially off the field, this could be a big week for South and United as well, couldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, that's the bigger picture, obviously. And you know, fingers crossed that all goes well.